Last time on Paper Mario, we did shit. Now to do more shit. Yeah, I can't even remember what we did last time, <laughs> to be honest. Actually, before we head further, what I did last time with... I actually had two other guys- I actually had two other guys on last time for- Oh, so I wasn't even here three. last time. Yeah. Don't worry, that was really spooky. <laughs> MARIO! 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 Good to see you! We found out that you defeated Tubba Blubba! You kicked his ass good! I knew you could, you could do it! I just knew it! When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved! Oh yes, I got new information about the honorable star spirits who are still imprisoned! Have you ever heard of Shy Guy's Toy Box? That actually sounds kind of creepy. Sorry, I... I had soda, I had soda right before this recording, which is a big no-no. Yeah. Yeah, my chair keeps squeaking. Fortunately, I have two bottles of water to counteract that. That's good. It seems one of the honorable star spirits is being held there! But where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea! Maybe my voice can lure all of them out! Time is short! I have to go back to the princess now! Good luck, Mario! Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on! I just love how every single voice that we've all picked for these characters are just simply the worst ones we could have picked. Yeah... But I mean that in the best way possible. I'm sure. Oh wow, my university is an asshole. What did the American educational system do this time? I just found out that my university required like acquired like all the IP addresses. Be yeah, it between a certain range and it's like uh, I want to say two 256 squared IP addresses are reserved solely for my uh, university, which is strange. I don't know, I'm doing homework for computer networks. It's, it's boring, it's dull, my teacher's a dumbass. So, this is... So you're kind of glad about this. No! No, you're glad about me interrupting this with Paper Mario is sort of like a... Oh yeah, no, this is like... This is... A safe haven from school, from my own... From the voices in my brain. Take that as you will. Ah. Uh... I hear the secrets that you keep. You don't even know. You probably don't even know that song. Nope. I'll say this. A project that 
I was developing before Questbound, well, still trying to produce, by the way, I ate the 80s is a huge theme, and that's actually a pretty big 80s song. Interesting. I can't say much about it because technically it's still... Because it was... It's a project that's sort of in production, but also not. It's currently in... It's sort of in production hell. Uh, yeah. I know how that feels. I'm trying to make my own games. Uh, so many ideas have just gone t gone into development hell and just stayed there. I will say this about the project though. The reason why it's been in develop in production hell is because I couldn't find a female voice actor to play to play a lead. Can't help you there. I, I know, but <laughs> Just saying, before you got any funny ideas. Now this, this would have been a serious project. In fact, it was the project that, Qu that Quest Valve sort of replaced in the production pipeline. Hmm. So, so in other words, this, the pro the project that I'm talking about got replaced by Questbound. Ah. Uh. Because ironically, from a, from a production standpoint, Questbound was just easier to make. Yeah, that makes sense. But, what was I gonna say? Right. Oh, yeah, no, I might end up bitching and moaning about my homework. Sorry. I'm actually... Oh man, that's sort of really... I should not have... I should not have done that. Which is pretty much the new catchphrase of Neon Cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't look like you're doing too bad. Well, that's because I've played this game like hundreds of times and I've beaten it like three times. Oh. Like, when we get to Crash 3, it's gonna get insane. I bet. Because that was... Because that and Crash 2 were my childhood... Were... Oh, yeah. Crash 3 is probably one of my favorite games on the PS1. I will... I'll say this much. Personally, I think Crash 3 is a better game, but I just like 2 more. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. On both of those accounts. But... What was I gonna say? Right. So, for my homework, I was supposed to use... Uh... Um, Is this programming console... stuff that I don't know anything about? Kind of, but I'll skip the technical details. All right. Basically, they, they just want me to use a console command to like look up different uh, websites and see all their server addresses. And there's, yeah, their IP addresses for all their servers and junk. But every single site, besides my school site that I've used the command on, rejected the query. Oh, even, like, I even went out of my way to find, like, dead websites that haven't been active for, like, five years, and they're also rejecting the query. Which makes me wonder, how the fuck am I supposed to do my homework? Well, you have a valid excuse now. Yeah, and, like, my... They also want me to use my local DNS server, but I don't but have the address to it. Yeah. I I don't know cuz like when I try to look up the address like the website address to my DNS server I don't have one because my IP because my ISP didn't give me like the the details of it and well 
I only was able to... Like, they wanted me to do this for two sites plus my own DNS server. I only fa found one site, which was my school server. So, getting, like, one-third of the credit on that question. Because fuck me. Okay. I said this in the last session, but Starstorm is actually kind of OP if you use it correctly. Oh, yeah. Especially at, like, a, a two... two cost. It's kind of bullshit. It's especially... it's especially OP in this chapter, because all the enemies are shy guys, and they're all 7 HP. Yeah, <laughs> that works out perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost like the developers wanted you to just, just blow them it. all away. Turn the game into easy mode for little babbies. Babbies. So, actually, a question I've been meaning to ask you is that last time you said you were developing your own games. Yeah. 2D or 3D? All, no, two of them are 3D, the last one is 2D. Oh, so, both. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, two of them are, like I said, one, one of the 3D ones is my personal project. That one's a strategy game that I haven't been able to touch in a week. Oh. Then... There's the cultural VR game, which obviously has to be 3D. And I got to mess with the HTC Vive this week. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then there's this little sports management simulator for the the Android. Because which... the, the guys that I graduated with, they did VR, but it wasn't as nice as, like, Vive. It was basically like that... Google Cardboard crap. <laughs> oh man, when people bring that up, I just can't help but laugh. And, you know what, that's my only experience with VR, and I can kind of see why people are excited by it, but at the same time, oh my god, the quality was horrible. Yeah. So, basically, as thanks for this guy letting us in for getting the key back. This guy's just gonna let us into the storeroom. Seems legit. Yeah, seems totally legit. This totally can't backfire, I don't know what you're talking about. We definitely need this toy train. For sure. What do you think? Should I throw away the dizzy dial to make room for the dizzy dial? <laughs> I think you should just not take the dizzy dial. Oh, okay. We're gonna throw away the dizzy dial. Yeah. It's okay, I could get another one here if I wanted to. Alright. I forgot how small the pack size is in this game. Okay, so we have the toy train. What we need to do is that we need to interact. What we need to do is use it outside of the box. But if you come in the toy box with it and talk to the engineer, you have this interaction. Look, we can't very well ride on a tiny little toy train. That'd be impossible. Put that thing back in its toy box. I always found that little section amusing. Really? Because when you... 
when you use it outside the toy box, it actually becomes big. And now we can ride it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna nix the voice acting for this one because I'm not feeling up for it. Yeah, that's fine. So where are the other guys? Uh, it's actually kind of funny because Jake is off in Orlando right now and Dan has a cold. Jake's up here. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 